And finally, new rule, New Year's call for new departments here on Real Time, and we have something very special for you tonight. As our loyal fans know, after every election season, we prepare a memorial package called Farewell Douchebags. So we can... So we can bid adieu, a proper adieu, to the conservative nut jobs who just got drummed out of office. Here's a little bit of our last installment from two months ago. Always a fan favorite. I've been doing it for all these years. Problem is, Republicans restock douchebags with the efficiency of an Amazon warehouse. They churn out new crazy like the Hallmark Channel makes Christmas movies. So I thought it might be prudent moving forward if we took a moment at the beginning of the year to get to know the up-and-comers, the douchebags to keep an eye on. The the new, fresh-faced, hate-for-profit, truth-bending opportunist that you'll be cursing out for years to come. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy our premiere edition of Hello, Douchebags! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, Douchebags! For example, there's a new opportunistic infection in the Senate named Josh Hawley. <laughs> Oh, he's an up-and-comer. Washington Insider says he's among 2021's most punchable faces. <laughs> Handsome, youthful, and vigorous, he's the far right's JFK, with a little dash of KKK. <laughs> and as the son of a wealthy banker and a graduate of Stanford, Yale, and a private prep school, Josh knows what he hates most in this world. Elites. <laughs> Loathsome and transparently ambitious, Josh was the first senator to formally choose Trump's baseless election fraud conspiracy over his pledge to uphold the Constitution. But before you say he's anti-democratic, Josh wants you to know that he's just asking questions. <laughs> questions like, why does the winner of an election always have to be the guy who gets the most votes? <laughs> Not to be outdone in the area of hating government from the inside, freshman Colorado rep and high school dropout Lauren Boebert <laughs> is someone you may have already thought of if you ever thought, what would happen if Michelle Bachman smoked bath salts? <laughs> this sassy gal is taking her hoops out to fight the libtards, and she... <laughs> And she wants everyone to know she has exactly one issue, guns. Spoiler alert, she likes them. <laughs> she hails from a town named Rifle and owns a restaurant called Shooters, <laughs> where the waitstaff, no kidding, are encouraged to carry loaded weapons on the job. My suggestion, if you eat there, make sure you tip at least 20%. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I ate there once. I asked the waiter, how fresh is the fish? He said, I don't know, do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Alabama's newest senator is Tommy Tuberville. How to describe Tommy? He's like if a hot mic slur got voted into office. <laughs> Tommy... <laughs> Love this guy. Tommy's the former coach of the Auburn Tigers football team, and intellectually, let's just say he's a few yards short of a first down. <laughs> he refused to debate before his primary and general elections, and it's a good thing, because he could lose a game of tic-tac-toe to a St. Bernard. <laughs> Tommy's the model of today's constitutional conservative who has absolutely no idea what's in the Constitution. He got wrong the answer to the question, what are the three branches of our government? <laughs> Strippers can get this one. <laughs> I know, I've asked. <laughs> <laughs> Financially, Tommy's been involved with at least three business associates who've been convicted for financial fraud. Said Tommy, I'm not smart enough to understand all the numbers. Did I mention he wants to be on the Senate Banking Committee? <laughs> and seen. 
Now... <laughs> now, if fresh-faced is your thing, get ready to swipe right <laughs> on rising hate monger Madison Corthorn from North Carolina, one of the leaders of the Stop the Steal fiasco who hyped the riot at the Capitol like it was the fire festival. <laughs> and who at the tender age of 25 is the youngest Republican ever elected to the House. I've thrown up scotch older than this prick. <laughs> you know every Chad douchebag you see on a jet ski on Instagram? Yeah, he's a congressman now. And this one brags that he carries a gun on the House floor, but not irresponsibly. It's safely secured in his Paw Patrol lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, but certainly not least, we have the freshman congresswoman from Georgia, the true mayor of Crazy Town, and everyone's favorite Karen, Marjorie... <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman who makes most people say, how is she not a teacher from Florida who fucks her students? I, can see that. <laughs> I don't know, but holy shit, is this lady crazy. She does not listen to lobbyists and special interests. No, she listens to microwaves <laughs> and talking dogs. She, she is an all-in QAnon believer who thinks science and reason are a conspiracy to trick people into thinking. <laughs> Reagan saw a shining city on a hill. This chick sees spiders on her arms. <laughs> Move over, AOC. Say hello to WTF. All right, that's... Hello, douchebags! <laughs> 